going or, or should I just stop and leave it this way? Did that expression neck beard? Well, here you go. Right here, all I'm missing is a uh, fedora. So the beard is gone and that can mean only one thing. That the recovery process is over, I've had plenty of time to heal from my last surgery and it's time to become a buff dude again. Welcome to the Road to Recovery series. I'm gonna spend the next 15 weeks going through our buff dudes cutting plan. I'm gonna have about maintenance calories and the whole goal here is to try to become as strong as I was before and hopefully even stronger, that's my goal. So I'm gonna be going through everything, my food, my calories, my workouts, my mobility, my cardio, and I hope you can follow along with me. Either maybe you're recovering from an injury yourself and you've got your clearance from your doctor to go ahead and give it a go in the gym, maybe you're unmotivated, or maybe you, you just wanna see if I can do this or not. Because really, I don't know, but I'm gonna try my best. So hope you enjoy the series. Let's get started. All right, just finished up with the morning swim. Trying to make this a good routine. Ankle feels really stiff in the morning, so this is a great way to get going, get a little cardio, get a little mobility. And I got Buff Duke here to keep me motivated. Yeah, you can try to help it. He watched a lot of YouTube videos yeah. on how to revive people. I gotta say, he's tried it a few times. They didn't even want CPR, but he did it anyway. And I tried the defibrillator on him, and they, they seemed to react wrongly to that. He's getting better. Yeah. Okay, off to eat. Early morning swimming and mobility is out of the way. Now it's time to eat. And I'm going to be making a recipe that's from our Buff Dudes cutting book today. It's gonna to be slow cooker turkey meatballs, which is a recipe I really enjoy and it's very simple to do. So you're gonna need a slow cooker. If you don't have one, I highly recommend them. It's one of my favorite kitchen tools of all time. They're about 20 bucks and they are gonna help you with all kinds of stuff. Even if you're not a cook, this does a lot of the work for you. So here's the ingredients we're gonna need. We're gonna need one and a quarter pound ground turkey, 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. I didn't have crushed, so I'm using diced. That'll work too. We're gonna have a quarter cup of chives, or parsley, whatever works. Quarter cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, quarter cup breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Finally, one egg. So it's time to put everything together. We've got one bowl. As you can see, the ground turkey's in there. Now we're gonna combine everything except the tomatoes. <laughs> have all your ingredients in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and just mix it up really well. All right, it's all mixed up. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is form them into meatballs and put them in our slow cooker. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to make about 14 meatballs, but the number's gonna vary just depending on the size. There we go, nice little ball here. We're gonna put it right into the slow cooker. So now, let's go ahead and roll these balls. There we go. Not quite 14, but I couldn't help myself. Buff dudes have big balls. So we have the turkey meatballs in the slow cooker. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour the 28 ounces of tomatoes over the top. Okay, everything's in there. The slow cooker's closed. It's on low, and we're gonna let that cook for four hours. So, see you then. Okay, it's time to check on the turkey meatballs. And I wanna mention, when you make this recipe, make sure that your turkey is thawed. Ours was still a little frozen, so I went ahead and cooked it for a little over five hours just to be safe. Let me check them out. Mm -hmm. Me. So I had some leftover noodles, so I went ahead and threw that in with the turkey meatballs. You can feel free to eat them on your own, or really with whatever you like. It's a really easy recipe, it's packed full of nutrients, and it's very good. Isn't that right? That's a great idea. 
so I weighed in just about 215. And I don't want to get into too much of a habit during the course of the series weighing in all the time because sometimes that can unmotivate you depending on which way the scale swings. I just wanted to get a good idea of where I'm starting and my goal here is to end pretty close to the 215 actually because what I hope to accomplish is shed a little bit of body fat and retain my muscle mass and hopefully even build a little bit on my right leg since it's taken quite the hit lately. Normally, before any workout, we're gonna start out with some warming up. Now, more than ever for me, it's very important. So seeing as I'm doing legs and I really haven't worked legs much since my last surgery, I'm gonna do lots and lots of warming up. I'm gonna do a variety of exercises. And of course, when I start the workout, I'm gonna start really light. Now, for some of you, including me, it can be a little depressing because you know the numbers, you know the weights you've been able to put up in the past, and then all of a sudden you're going, God, I'm weaker than I've ever been. And especially in my case, I really, truly am. Probably the weakest I've been since maybe I was 14, 15 years old. But you just keep going strong. You gotta push through the mental barrier and you gotta think to yourself, hey, I may be where I am now, but I'm gonna be a hell of a lot stronger in 15 weeks because I'm not giving up. And that's exactly the goal here. So if you're in the same place as me, maybe an injury, maybe you're just unmotivated, follow along and we got this. I do and you do too because I believe in you. I'm gonna be doing the five by five. It's a program both me and Brandon love and enjoy. And a lot of times when we're feeling like maybe we're getting stuck in a rut a little bit, we'll move back to the five by five because it just focuses on the major compound exercises and it feels damn good. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be switching up a little bit because typically we'd be doing squats well, today I'm gonna to be doing box squats. And the reason why I'm gonna be doing it is I don't feel quite safe with myself. I haven't done a lot of squatting. So this little thing right here, basically it's like a little chair, little below parallel. You're just gonna to touch it just for a moment and then you're gonna lift back up to the starting position. Think of it a little bit as training wheels. At least that's what I'm gonna be doing and it's exactly what I need right now. Thank you, little box. Five reps, yeah, and patience is a virtue. So 135 is not a lot of weight, especially for doing a five by five. But for me at this moment in time, it is. And it's all about the journey. So we're gonna have humble beginnings, but God damn it, we're gonna get bigger and better. Maybe time to shield your eyes. Check out this sweet dad bod. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be better in 15 weeks. I hope to God it is. <laughs> For my own sake. Oh. Whew. But that can be a hard thing, you know, in the day and age, especially with social media, Instagram. You're seeing the top 1% of all physiques in the world. And I know, at least for me, that was pretty frustrating for a period of time. You're scrolling through your feed, you're seeing all these people with amazing physiques and amazing locations. It can get a little depressing. And that's when you really gotta become comfortable with yourself. As you can see, I'm very comfortable because I'm shirtless in a, in a video. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was... That was actually, I have to say, easy for the five reps, which is a little sad that my bench is above my squats now. It should always be the other way around. So I have some work to do on my legs. The good news is my upper body strength is still there. So I am gonna be focusing a little bit more on legs through the duration of this journey to keep that aesthetic physique. That's something we're really big on and I'm gonna be doing a lot of unilateral work on my right leg and keeping in mind not to skip leg day. We're on to the final exercise. It's gonna be seated calf raises, three sets, 10 reps. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit though. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first three sets with both calves 
and I'm gonna do two additional ones with just my right because it is quite a bit smaller, quite a bit weaker, and my goal here over the next 15 weeks is to slowly build this side up. So lots of unilateral work. In this first three weeks, we're gonna be focusing on the five by five, but as I continue to progress, I'm gonna focus more and more on this leg as it slowly gets stronger through the duration of this plan. One thing I'm really struggling with right now is the dorsiflexion in my foot. So, you know, bringing it up this way, closer to my shin, it's really stiff. My Achilles tendon is tight. My calves really weak, you know, in addition to the injury I suffered. So there's a lot of work to do there and I'm just gonna have to take it one week at a time. It's really weak. It gets sore very easily, but that's where sticking with it really comes into play. And that's where you gotta stay really vigilant, especially mentally, because it can get a little depressing. I mean, I like to stay as positive as I can, but there's no joke that it does hurt a little bit when you see yourself, you, you're smaller, you're weaker than you've ever been, but that's really when it just takes the, uh, the determination to keep going strong, because tomorrow's gonna come regardless if you train or not. So you might as well put in the hard work and get it done because you're gonna be a lot happier than you, that you did. Okay, that wraps up day one of the road to recovery. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave any suggestions you want in the comments of what you'd like to see through, through this series. I'm gonna really try to focus on the mobility, the meals, and of course the workouts because the whole point of this is to get better whether you're just getting back into it, you've never done it before, maybe you've went through an injury such as I have, but we're all gonna get buffered together, one rep at a time. So until the next video, stay buff.